Greeting travellers, and welcome to the channel that is dedicated to the discussion and study of some of the greatest questions humanity has regarding the final frontier. In today's video, a breakthrough discovery that could shatter our current understanding about the age of the universe and perhaps reshape the world of cosmology as a whole. The principal statement of this discovery is that our universe might be twice as old as we previously thought. That's right. According to a new study published in the monthly notices of the Royal Astronomical Society, the age of the universe could be as high as 27 billion years, instead of the widely accepted current estimate of 13.8 billion years. You might be wondering, how exactly did the researchers arrive at this number? And what does it imply for our understanding of cosmology? To answer these questions, we need to first review the basics. How do we measure the age of the universe in the first place? Well, there are essentially two methods. The first is by measuring the rate of expansion of the universe, known as the Hubble constant. We can infer this by observing the speed at which galaxies are moving away from each other. Another alternative method is based on the observation of the cosmic microwave background, CMB, which is believed to be the oldest light in the universe, emitted about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. By analyzing the tiny fluctuations in the temperature and polarization of the CMB, we can infer the rate of expansion of the universe. Then, by assuming a certain model of how the universe evolved over time, we can calculate how long it took for it to reach its current size. Sounds straightforward enough, right? Well, not quite. The problem is that these two different methods of measuring the Hubble constant give wildly different results. For example, one of the generally accepted methods to estimate the Hubble constant is by observing how fast distant galaxies are receding from us, using standard candles such as supernovae or Cepheid variables. This method tends to give higher values for the Hubble constant than those derived from the CMB, implying a younger age for the universe, which is how we arrived at the traditionally accepted estimate of 13.8 billion years in the first place. Meanwhile, the existence of stars like Methuselah, which are older than 13.8 billion years, directly conflict with the currently accepted model. So which method is correct? Is there something wrong with our measurements or our models? Or is there some new physics that we are overlooking? This is one of the biggest puzzles in modern cosmology, known as the Hubble tension. This is where the new study by Rajendra Gupta, a physicist at the University of Ottawa in Canada, comes in. Gupta proposes a radical solution to resolve this problem, a move away from the assumption of a cosmological constant and towards the idea of covering coupling constants, or what Gupta likes to refer to as a dynamic cosmological constant. The theory merges various models of measuring the age of the universe, including the currently dominant LCDM cosmological model, to form a hybrid model that reconciles conflicting theories based on new assumptions of cosmology. Gupta's proposal reignites Fritz Zwicky's tired light theory, an alternative hypothesis to the Big Bang theory, which explains the redshift of distant galaxies by the energy loss of photons as they travel through space. This theory was rejected by most physicists due to inconsistencies with observations of the traditional cosmological model. Gupta argues that we can actually reconcile the theory with the standard cosmological model if we assume Paul Dirac's 1937 varying constants hypothesis. Dirac's hypothesis argues that constants or rules related to the interactions of particles in the cosmos are not set in stone, but rather change over time. Gupta's hybrid model can explain the existence of stars and galaxies that predate the currently assumed age of the universe, as well as why some observable galaxies are a lot smaller than we expect, 
a question that is answered by the tired light theory. Above all, Gupta's new theory challenges the traditional idea of the cosmological constant, which represents the accelerated expansion of the universe due to dark matter, arguing that the assumed constants are actually varying in nature over time, and thus can affect our estimates of the age of the universe. Assuming Gupta's theory would imply a much older age for our universe than previously thought, meaning that our universe would have taken longer to reach its current size than if it had expanded at a constant rate throughout its history. How much longer? Well, according to Gupta's calculations, up to 27 billion years. That's almost double the current estimate of 13.8 billion years. Of course, this theory isn't definitive and depends on many assumptions and uncertainties that will require further observations and experiments to either be accepted or rejected by the wider scientific community. Nonetheless, it is still a staggering possibility that challenges our perception of time and space. Gupta's theory could also allude to the possibility of the multiverse. According to multiverse cosmology, our universe is just one bubble in a vast sea of bubbles, each with its own physical laws and properties. Some of these bubbles might collide with each other, creating ripples in space-time that affect the expansion rate of each bubble. Of course, all of these are just hypotheticals at this point. Only time will tell if Gupta's theory is proven right, or whether future observations and discoveries will discredit it. However, one thing is certain. This theory will possibly lead us to rethinking our current assumptions and understanding of the universe, and lead to new questions that need to be answered, or old questions that need to be revisited. As any great scholar, our journey of learning and gaining knowledge continues ever onwards. Thank you for being on this journey with us, traveller. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to the channel for more on the latest scientific breakthroughs and discoveries regarding the cosmos. And with that, I leave you for today. I will see you in the next video.